I mean, how many times do I go and see performance? I'm like, meh, meh. Didn't do anything to me. Doesn't mean something to me. You can, and I think that's that's a big thing. You can expect people to put value in to your work. You gotta do that yourself. My name is Lulu Obermeier and uh, I am a performance artist um, and I am originally from Munich, Germany. Performance is a very spiritual space and I am extremely considerate of what I put in that space. I don't want to clutter it. I don't want to um, be trivial about it or banal. I also don't think it's a place for trends. Lots of practitioners that come from a visual art background don't have any training in performance and assume it's just something you can do and that doesn't need any skills. And I think everybody that's coming from a rigorous theater or dance background knows how much training goes into that. I don't think it's something you can just do. There's a lot, a lot of knowledge you need to have about the body, about voice, about timing, about composition. Performance has become very trendy in visual art contexts. And I don't think it's very considerate. You know, it wouldn't occur to me to just do painting because it's cool. You know, and having no idea about what it means to take a s stroke on a canvas <laughs> and feeling like I'm the first one to like, deal with that. I'm very much about history. I like to know what has been done before me. And I, I like to find out about practitioners before me and I like to deal with their legacy and be in conversation with that. Even though it's experimental performance, I think it's not like that you experiment. But you know, people are different. I don't go into the studio to experiment. I go to the studio if I know what I'm doing. There are other people that just go and like move and find out what the material is. I'm not like that. For me, it starts in my head. What people are supposed to feel, I don't, I'm not interested. I think that's not my business. It's very assuming to believe that you know what your work does, because it's a very private experience for people. What are some of the sacrifices you've made for your career? The likelihood of ever making money, really. I mean, most people that I know that are working in that field never get beyond minimum wage, more or less. I live in this artist community and so I'm around a lot of gentrification conversations and you know, a house that I live in is a cause for gentrification. We once had um, a theorist come to speak in our house about gentrification and he was talking about how you always blame the artists for gentrifying a neighborhood, but he said that's wrong, you know, because artists need to go somewhere that is affordable in order to make their work and to live. And nobody ever blames the developers. And I thought that was very helpful to think about because there's a certain guilt when you have not a lot of money and you're trying to like find a neighborhood to live in and then you know, okay, I'm actually intruding the space. It's a quite colonial idea of how to use space. It's like, oh great, there's nothing here. We're just really free and of course there are people. There are always people. You ever want to give up? I guess, you know, if I think about giving up, then the question arises, what would I do instead? I can't quite think about something else, so... 
I'm not giving up. Hey everybody, Bianca here. If you enjoy this video with Lulu, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, click here.